Uh, we've put together a fantastic panel of visionaries uh, working on the front lines of, of public libraries and cities to uh, share with you their vision for where the public library is going. You know, here, here's an example, you know, uh, concrete of uh, library as, I don't know if you, as community center, but really more as central, right, to um, an emerging uh, uh, set of issues or emerging knowledge base that needs to be shared across the community. So um, our, my organization has been working with um, uh, uh, a web junction uh, as a uh, content pusher to, uh, to libraries around uh, the the uh, enrollment of um, people in the Affordable Care Act. Uh -huh. And so to the extent that you have people who are now eligible um, to, um, to become part of the healthcare delivery system as a consumer, uh, but who have never done so before, right? They need, first they need to enroll. Many don't have computers in their home, and so they're going to the library to, the, to do the enrollment. Uh, they don't know, they don't have insurance literacy, so they don't know what it means to sign up for insurance that um, it's not just a matter of you know, signing up, that you actually have to provide a lot of information and the kind of information that you have to provide determines the kind of, uh, in many ways, the coverage that you're gonna get. Once you actually enroll uh, and you choose your, your plan and you get to see the doctor, you find out you might have diabetes or, or um, some other health problem, coming back to the library to, get, to have that information curated for you Right, with the librarian who is a professional at helping you learn that, and then to understand where in the community might you go to sign up for a class uh, to improve your health condition. So that's more than a community center, uh, and, but it does still re reflect <clears throat> what um, the library very specifically uh, can do, and as a both a, um, a historical service, but maybe new content and new ways of doing it. One of the things that um, I was thinking about as you were talking about the hotspot lending and, and the, the digital realm, and, and maybe where librarians you know, um, become more um, facilitators of network and learning and knowledge in a digital realm, um, if you think about all the people now who are going to be networked digitally, digitally through their library cards, right? They're like, you know, the, you've got a platform uh, within the library space that allows people to potentially network to each other and to create knowledge and share knowledge uh, and have that knowledge be curated across a library system um, very differently from what you've described in terms of you know the 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 issues that come with um, you know books and digital uh, forms of literature or reading uh, that have to be curated so if you create a platform uh, where library card holders uh, in the virtual space are coming together and saying, you know, there's some transportation issues in the city uh, that uh, really need some solving, or some other sort of government services or neighborhood services, and you use the library as that platform, all of the people that have the library cards to come together and try to solve solution. The librarian can facilitate uh, the coming together of that conversation. Uh, the library itself can maybe be a link to uh, governments or other institutions as a way of that uh, curating that conversation and lending itself to a solution that might be a technology solution or might be an analog solution. Uh, we work with a community center, a teen center, uh, in uh, the East Bay uh, um, uh, Bay Area of San, of San Francisco. And it's interesting, you walk into the teen center and the first thing you see is the library, huh. actually. And so it is the library within the teen center uh, and it allows them to be who they are, what they are, what they're doing, and have access to uh, the, you know, the, the books, the uh, videos, you know, all of the library services uh, that they would have if they went to the library, but it's actually there embedded in idea. the space yeah. that uh, they they think of as you know their space, uh, and so it's a wonderful thing. And, and you know we ask it's you know, and it's books right because they have surrounding it all the other sort of digital things that they you know they want to do. But the, they they really wanted uh, to create a space where the the young people that are coming in to have books and talk about what they're reading and share what they're experiencing in relationship uh, to the library. So uh, it's maybe it's not just <clears throat> rebuilding or building 
uh, new libraries, but it's it's moving the library, you know, not like in a bookmobile, but moving the library into the spaces where people already gather. 